Hello there, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I'm doing your weekly tarot reading for the week of October 11th through the 17th. Um, this is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, so if you don't resonate with this message, you might want to check out either your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign because there might be a message there for you. Um, and if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. Okay, well, let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have here. Observer, mm, chaos and conflict. You know, <laughs> right off the bat, I feel like whatever this situation, this chaos and conflict that might come up this week, it's about just sit back. <laughs> Do not get involved. It's like observe it from a distance, right? Um, and it could be. It could be a situation like at work, you know, uh, office gossipy stuff. Or it could be a family situation. Um, you know, like maybe with siblings or extended family, something like that. It, it's just kind of like, yeah, just let it be. Just let it be. Don't get involved. That's the sense I get. Okay, so let's go get some more details with the tarot. We're going to take a look at your present energy, um, obstacles, areas of resistance, advice from spirit, and then finally the outcome. Okay, so here you are. You're in the three of wands. You're waiting for something to come in. You know, uh, the three of wands is a sense of you put something out into the universe. You know, that the ace is like the idea. Um, the, the twos are kind of like, you know, strategizing, actually saying it to the universe. This is what I want. And then the, and the threes are about waiting for it to come in. And the three of wands is really the sense of waiting. You know, she's sitting there looking out. Where's my ship? <laughs> so let's see what you're waiting on. It could be that you're kind of waiting on this, you know, this chaos and conflict, something about that. You could be waiting on, um, for some reason, I, mean, I don't, this won't resonate with everybody, but maybe a legal settlement of some sort or an insurance settlement, something like you're, you're just kind of in the sense of waiting. Okay, your area of resistance is Six of Swords. Having a difficult time moving on. Like, I get a sense that you have to have some kind of decision made before you can move on. You're waiting on something before you can move on. And, you know, the, that can be a very difficult energy. The, uh, you know, it's definitely a sense of don't take action yet. Okay? Uh, you, you may want to take action at some point in the future. We'll see what the advice is. But right now, it's kind of like this energy of just wait it out. Yeah, four swords. Waiting. More waiting. Okay, Cancer. I know that's not what you want to hear, possibly. <laughs> but it's about this waiting is going to help bring healing to whatever this chaos and conflict is. Um, I really get the sense that it's about not acting rashly. Like allowing time to heal all wounds, okay? Um, yeah, with the four swords, it's kind of like stop, reflect, replenish, relax, you know, um, and just wait to see what comes. And with that, you're going to perhaps get the answer to your question or get the answer about this conflict. And you're also getting... Um, I'm actually going to put these here because I hadn't moved on yet. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, waiting to decide, you know, how to move forward. Like you're really determined. You want to do something here. I think that's why this is so difficult. You want to do something, Cancer. And you're, it's kind of like you can't get any, you can't get any, um, it's almost like traction, right? You can't get any traction here. You can't move forward. You're waiting on something. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is. Four of Cups, more waiting. Okay, so this is a weekly reading. This is for the week of October 11th through the 17th. All the planets go direct on the 18th. I have a feeling that this is just kind of a, one of those messages that's saying you're going to have to wait <laughs> like another week. I feel like 
on the 18th when all the planets go direct then things will happen this has been a very difficult time with all these planets in retrograde we had four planets in retrograde there's some of them are starting to go um direct but yes i think that that is part of what's holding all of this up ah the devil card on the bottom some attachment you may have some attachment to a particular and um outcome attachment to conflict somebody uh, this may not be your energy i feel like there could be an emperor in your life okay so the emperor to me is you know somebody that's a little bit controlling um and it could be a boss because it is an emperor or a business you know uh somebody that's in business that may be over you or perhaps a business partner it can also um be like the father uh how you know head head of house um it doesn't have to be a male but with the emperor a lot of times you know it can be just this sense of somebody that's very controlling and females can be controlling <laughs> so it's somebody that's really controlling that's really kind of toxic perhaps attached to causing drama okay so see how that relates Sometimes people, you know, this is kind of like a, a little bit of a narcissistic um, tendency. And I, the Cancer, I don't think this is your energy, but I do feel like it's somebody that is a true soulmate. There's somebody really close to you. And Cancer, you know, like here's your energy, right? Um, you know, the water sign, you're... you're you're trying to put love into this situation and this person is trying to cause drama, which I think is, you know, this chaos and conflict. Oh, underneath that is orphaned. And underneath that, we have message in a bottle. So you could be hearing from this person. If you haven't heard from them, you're going to or you're going to hear from somebody about this uh chaos and conflict or you know i feel like for some of you this orphaned energy could be your energy you're just kind of like sad like sad that this conflict is causing pain that this i really feel like it's like this one person is causing all this drama you know and that once again that could be in the workplace that could be a family situation somebody's causing drama in your life <laughs> That is for sure. But it really is because even underneath here, I have yin. You know, it's kind of like, yeah, this is a lot. Your, your energy is just sit and wait it out. Like, don't get rash. That, and they can just keep saying that to me. You know, like, stay on top of your emotions. With this king of cops, it's like... You know, the King of Cups is very emotional, which you are, Cancer, right? It's very emotional. But the King of Cups also knows how to contain his emotions. Um, gender doesn't matter. It's just the energy of being able to express your emotions without, like, you know, um, you know, being overly emotional or being rash, you know. Just being able to express your emotions, perhaps to the soulmate, but in a very kind and loving way. And it could be that you are thinking about having a conversation with this person, but you may need this week, especially with the retrogrades, have this week to just kind of like lay low and, you know, sit in this energy of healing. Just, you know... Thinking about how you do want to express your feelings to this person um, before you move forward, okay? So you, do, you definitely want to move forward. There's something that I think you want to say to this person, but it's um, you have to make sure that you have control over your emotions before you do it. Right now, your heart may be a little bit too hurt, and so it's just taking a breath. Kind of, you know, thinking about how you want to express yourself instead of just overreacting. Okay, so let's see what the three of wands is. 
Wow. Yeah, there's something you want to bring into balance. I think for a lot of you, this is like a family situation because I keep getting kind of like, you know, soulmate cards. It doesn't have to be a romantic connection. It can be the four of wands. So it's kind of like the happy family connection, um, happy family card. We have the emperor again. You're waiting for this emperor to kind of make things just again. You could be working with a Libra, but you don't have to be. Um, it's it's kind of like you're waiting for them to bring this into balance, you know, because we have the three of wands. You want them to bring this into balance. And I don't feel like they're taking um, action on it. You're, you're in this waiting energy. You're waiting for this emperor to do something. You know, the page of wands is taking action. Um, and they're not, um, underneath we have the four wands. Yeah. You want, you want a truth about family or the situation to come out. You want the truth. We have the queen of pentacles, something, um, queen of pentacles is kind of like, you know, the, the energy of, it's really called the home and hearth card, <laughs> um, an ending to a home and hearth. You know, the, a burden, a burden with this situation. There is a burden. Somehow there's a, a burden. And I, for a lot of you, I really feel like this is a family situation or a, you know, um, a marriage. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but a long-term committed relationship. Um, there's some chaos here. You're really waiting for this um, balance to come in. I am going to pull, let's just pull one on this emperor. I'm just trying to figure out, oh, yeah, three of swords. Okay, so the emperor is, you know, definitely somebody that has disappointed you. Somebody that, I feel like with the justice card that you didn't, you weren't treated fairly by this person. Like, this is really a very strong energy of feeling like this person has done you an injustice and you really want this person to come back and make this right. You're waiting. I feel like, you know, with the three of wands, you know, once again, the ace is kind of like this idea. You may have even said something to this person. And then the two of wands is kind of like you put it out there. Like you really put something out to this person. I think you may have even said something to this person and you're waiting for them to respond, you know, to make this right. You may have even said to them, hey, I think I think you kind of screwed me over in the situation or whatever it is. And it could be business, but um, it's kind of like, yeah, you screwed me over in the situation. I can't believe you did that to me. You know, here, here we are, soulmates. How could you do that? You hurt my feelings. It's kind of like you're, you know, you're saying I, you hurt my feelings. And they're kind of like, mm, not responding or not giving you the response that you want. Yeah, you're, you're wanting victory in this situation. I don't think you really necessarily want to end this situation. I think you just want this person to acknowledge <laughs> your feelings and take responsibility. It's as if this person isn't taking responsibility for whatever they did. They're not making it just. They're not making it balanced. They're allowing this injustice to continue, whatever it is. Okay, so let's see what the Six of Swords is. The Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, yeah. Queen of Cups. Lots of love. You know, we have the King and the Queen of Cups. That could be you. And your soulmate, because, you know, we have the king and the queen of cups and the two of cups. So it could be that. Okay, with the six of swords, it's kind of like, yeah, you want to move on. You're having difficulty moving on and having a fresh start with this long-term committed relationship. You're having a hard time leaving it. You're having a hard time getting it started again. It's kind of like you're in limbo. That's how I feel, like you're in limbo. Hanged man, you're just waiting. You're trying to get a different perspective. You can't see a different perspective. 
You could have told this person like how you feel about this situation. You want them to see, recognize your perspective. They're not recognizing it. You're trying to see their perspective. If I miss something, you can't see anything. It's like, yeah, I can't see another perspective. I can't move on. Like there's too much pain here. You're like, I can't move on. And yet I can't get any answers out of this situation. That's a really difficult energy, Cancer. I'm so sorry. Okay, so you have Queen of Cups on the bottom. Queen of Cups is about going within, loving yourself. Yeah, right? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting goosebumps here. Uh, look at what we have here. The King and Queen of Cups with the Five of Cups in the middle. There's a lot of sadness. I think the two of you are separated or definitely not talking. There's a lot of sadness. Like when this energy is between these two, to me, it's like this person is feeling exactly like you are. I think you may see different perspectives of whatever happened, but they're missing you and you're missing them. And there is this wanting of coming into balance. Like the two of you want to come into balance. But it's like you're not talking about coming into balance. Uh, really interesting. Okay, so let's go to um, your advice. Let's see what we have here. World, Hermit, the Sun. There is a lot of Major Arcana. I just keep pulling more. And different Major Arcana. This is a huge thing for you. Strength card, another Major Arcana on the bottom. You have the strength to get on top of this. You have the strength to defend yourself in the situation. Um, you have the, the Queen of Swords. You're willing to walk away. You're getting the clarity. It's almost as if you're not going to give in in this situation. Wow, look at this. You want victory in a Ten of Cups type of relationship. You want happiness and joy you you're willing to go forward in search of that somewhere else if this situation can't come into fruition now with the world card you know it's beginnings and i mean it's endings and beginnings every ending brings a new beginning it can be a beginning with the same person but when you step into a new chapter with them, right? When you end one chapter and then you start a new chapter with them, it's like you have to leave the past in the past. You've seen the wisdom in this ending. You've seen the wisdom in how this whole relationship came uh, full circle, okay? And you're seeing the blessings. Like you're, there's still a lot of love here. You want to go and tell this person that... And yet, at the same time, you're kind of like, yeah, but they haven't said anything. It's like, I, I, I know how I feel, but I only feel this if they feel it. I kind of get that sense. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm not putting, I feel like you put your heart on the line at one point, Cancer, and they didn't say anything in return. It's kind of like, you know, one of those movies where, one person says to the other person, you know, you're dating or whatever. And then the one person says for the very first time, I love you. And then the other person doesn't respond. It's that type of energy. It's like, I told you I love you. And you haven't said it. I love you back. Right. And of course, you don't want somebody to say it. They don't mean it. But it's kind of like, and then the scene continues where like you just continue, but like nobody talks about the fact that one person expressed their love and the other person hasn't expressed theirs. And that's a really difficult energy. Okay, so let's see what the Four of Cups is. We have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot. You definitely, I think you're getting into this energy of I got to move on, right? I can't sit here in this kind of energy forever. I, I think you do. I think you're you're waiting for the truth. You're waiting for the truth. I'm going to pull one card. Let's pull one card on just what this truth is. Can we get some clarity about this truth, please? Clarity about this truth. Death and rebirth. Somebody wants to transform this. I really feel like there's a lot of love here. 
cancer. Um, and of course, you have free will. You can do whatever. But yeah, I think the truth is that the other person is sitting there and wants to have, you know, a rebirth with you. They want to transform it, this energy that you have right now back into this, into the love. Um, let's see what the, <laughs> let's see what the death and rebirth card says. Yeah, nine of swords, ace of swords, ten of wands, four of wands. There is a celebration. There is a sense of celebration, but it is about getting clarity about what brought this to this point. There needs to be a conversation about why you got to this point. Really interesting because I think you're probably sitting there going, oh, I know why, <laughs> but you don't know everything. I get the true sense that you don't know everything and I don't think they know everything. Like I think it's about expressing just how painful this ending was. You know, this is, you know, the nine of swords, very painful, anxiety, worry, the ending. The ace of swords is about getting the truth about this ending and how painful it was and where are we going next? Like, how do we make sure we never get back to this position? Really interesting. Okay, I am there. I'm, uh, I am just going to take three cards. I don't know. We'll see what they are. <laughs> they want three cards. So they want them shuffled. Um, I think, you know, from the cards on the table, Cancer... I think you have another week of waiting. I There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Those didn't flip, so I'm not taking them. There's a lot going on, I think, behind the scenes. And it's just a matter of making sure you don't have this discussion with this person until you do have your emotions kind of in check, you know, Um because I feel like there's a chance that this is going to be a very difficult conference, a very emotional, uh, I'll clarify, very emotional conversation. And so it's about, um, uh, you know, making sure you have your emotions in check. Okay, they just um, also said, you know, if you are working with somebody that is toxic, perhaps even narcissistic, you know, um, to take that into account, you know, this may be just a relationship you do want to walk away with, away from, you know, especially if you feel like this person is, has narcissistic tendencies and you've expressed something and they haven't said something back. That's probably a really good sign that, you know, they're, they're playing the mind games with you. You know, if you've had breadcrumbing with this person or gaslighting, those types of things. Um, and there's a lot of information on the internet and on YouTube about that. Um, take a look at that. And if you're seeing those tendencies, I feel like perhaps you just walk away from this situation. Wow, these cards are trying to talk. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I think, you know, for some of you, it is really taking a look at, you've put perhaps a lot of time and energy into this, but you want to be able to, what you really want is to be able to build something, a new life. This The Empress to me is always new, new life that is full of love and happiness. And it may mean that you do have to, um, you know, go your own way for some of you and for, because to me, this is go your own way. And for some of you, it's working it out. I think it's really taking a look at the relationship and asking yourself, is it toxic? If it's toxic, I think, I think, you know, I'm not saying you can't still have a conversation with this person, but it's kind of like really taking a look at the toxicity, taking a look at how this person is, uh, any mind games this person is playing, especially in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Creator air. 
All right, so this is really an energy of making sure that you are seeing things clearly because I feel like there is a lot of emotion here. You know, the King of Cups keeps coming up. You're a water sign, I know, but the King of Cups energy keeps coming up. So it's like you're very emotional and it's, um, with this card, it's about making sure you're also being logical. I think that's why they're, they um, are saying kind of like just wait this out. Allow your emotions to get kind of a little bit more, um, you know, leveled out. Um, allow that to happen and to look at this clearly, logically. You know, look for signs that this is, a, is an extremely manipulative person. This is really the type of person that you want to be with. Um, or look at closely at, you know, what is it that caused you to feel like there was something unjust here? Is that something that you can really live with? It's about taking a look at this. You're in an emotional state right now, and I think it's about taking a look at it logically. Um, and maybe, you know, even uh, talking to a counselor or a therapist or a really good friend about this situation and trying to see it logically, getting, you know, um, not allow your fears to run away with you, okay, but taking a look at it logically. Is this really the relationship for you? Because you really do. You have a lot of signs that you have love and uh, joy and happiness and abundance coming your way. Really, um, really interesting energy, and I'm sure it has something to do with these retrogrades. So I do wish you um, much love and light in this situation, Cancer. And once again, if you resonate with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Be gentle with yourself. Bye for now.